Hey guys, so today I would thought I would do my first impressions of the new Clinique multidimensional retinol clinical smart night multidimensional treatment. It's got quite a long name, uh, which came out recently. I noticed it on Clinique's website a few weeks ago, and I was initially going to try to review this stuff, which apparently is like a huge sought after retinol product. I did a first impressions for my Patreon uh, members and uh, after using this for about a week and ravaging true uh, heck on my skin, I'm not going to continue to try this one anymore. So enter the Clinique new retinol, which I really like. So they don't specifically say the amount of retinol in here based on where it is on the ingredient list. I'm guessing it's like point maybe 0.5% retinol. It doesn't have a ton in there, which makes it great for people that are new to retinols. So if you're newer, but still start out slow. Don't start out too fast. So I really like the texture of this one. So it's a little pricey, although if you buy it directly from Clinique, I got it uh, before Christmas time. So I think I got it for like 30% off, but it's really hydrating, which is nice. Uh, and you can apply this in your evening time routine. Start out slow, use it like every few nights and build up. But it's super hydrating, smooths over skin nicely, plays well with other products. I didn't have any issues like I did with the A313 where my skin just freaked out and hated it. But this one is a great retinol because it's got a lot of other ingredients which are great for soothing your skin, which is a good, a sign of a good retinol. Retinols can really wreak havoc on your skin. I'm going to do a ingredient uh, spotlight on retinol this week, so be sure to check that one out. Uh, talking about the different types of retinoids and retinols and uh, side effects and things like that. But this one's great. So if you start with a good formulated retinol, it will really help the process. So this one's got a lot of good hydrating ingredients. It's also got niacinamide in there, which is nice. They've got their algae extract, which they always put in everything. Uh, we've got St. Paul's wort, which is also in everything. We've got mango seed butter. They've got coffee oil, sodium hyaluronic, which is in everything, which I'm getting annoyed of seeing, by the way. Caffeine, ascorbic acid, urea, squalane, uh, wheat germ extract, vitamin E, linoleic acid, barley extract, sorbitol, hexapeptide. So overall, Clinique products, in general, I find them to be a lot hit or miss. They tend to generally be fragrance-free. This one has no fragrance and no scent, which is amazing. But typically when it comes to like the backup ingredients to some of their products, they don't get so exciting. This one is. It's got a lot of other good ingredients, which are going to soothe your skin and hydrate your skin, which is really great and key when you're using a retinoid retinol product to have a routine with other good hydrating and soothing ingredients. And this one fits the bill for all of that. No fragrance, no denatured alcohol. I love that they threw in some other good antioxidants and hydrating ingredients and squalane, things like that. So I must say this one, they underpromised and overdelivered, which is what I wish all skincare brands would do instead of sunscreens that overpromise and underdeliver. And if you know what I'm talking about, you probably do. But I wish more brands would do this. So thankfully this time, Clinique, under-promised and over-delivered. So I'm very impressed with this one. Uh, and going from the A313, which is like a holy grail product for a lot of people, which just did not work well, to this one, my skin is so happy. And in the winter, I like to tone down on the retinol retinoids a bit because my skin is already dry. And this one fit the bill. So this one's a perfect nighttime retinol product for dry skin, sensitive skin, winter skin. So, so far I'm loving this and I'll certainly do a uh, full review of this uh, in a few more weeks. So just want to do a first impression since it's new and it's pretty in purple. So anyway, those are my first thoughts on this one. I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to check this out yet. Still pretty new to most people. So I think it just came on Sephora's website this week. So anyway, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more soon. I've got some fun videos coming up. So be sure to check those out and thank you so much.